My name's Fritz Heller, I'm 41 years old. I live in Northern Michigan. I'm president of a local rough grouse society chapter. Uh, I do a lot of conservation work, coach travel hockey team, all the standard stuff, wife, two kids. I run uh, three Labrador retrievers, uh, oldest to youngest. I got a seven-year-old dog named May uh, and her brother Wolf, he's seven years old. Uh, I've got a three-year-old Labrador named Boots and a three-and-a-half-year-old American Cocker Spaniel named Pippa. Let's see, I've had seven bird dogs over my life. When I got out of college, I got my first lab. I was primarily a pheasant hunter. I was living downstate, and we still had areas to hunt. Uh, and those have diminished through the years, expiration of the Conservation Reserve Program. Grouse season was a lot longer, and any opportunity to be able to go hunting, I, I wanted to do it, so I started to learn how to grouse hunt. And when I moved up north, I was pretty convinced that you needed a pointing dog to go grouse hunting. I was fortunate that a, a lot of folks were willing to take me hunting, and. I got to hunt behind a bunch of different breeds of all kinds, and primarily in the pointing breeds. And what I noticed was my, my flush rates weren't uh, any different than the guys hunting over pointing dogs. And then I actually started to see some advantages to the flushing dogs over the pointing dogs. And uh, I've stuck with uh, the flushers ever since. Fritz and I are best friends, um, and now we work together. And some of my most uh, fond memories, um, we do everything together, and grouse hunting is one of those things. And we talk about it nonstop, and the experiences that you share with each other and the dogs, it's it undoubtedly brought us closer. I look up to Fritz in the grouse woods, and I look up to him in a lot of areas, but. I have learned uh, everything in a way from him. You know, he's at least started that path and it makes it easier to do when you have somebody that wants to do it as much as you do. You know, grouse hunting is a ton of fun, but everything that comes with it creates obviously some hard times too. Oh no. Hey, I got a problem. Doesn't look good. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. Yeah. What? You want to rinse it? Yeah. The whole thing. Is tell, see? We spent thousands of hours in these woods and never had a dog get a puncture in the eye, never had a dog get killed by a stick, any of that stuff. And then, you know, sometimes it's just, just your day. And unfortunately, today was that day. Even if she has to lose the eye, she's gonna, she'll be able to hunt the rest of her life, you know? It's, they just have this ability to endure so much pain and will do anything to, to make you happy. And that's losing dogs, that's, you know, uh, dealing with sticks and eyes like we dealt with the, the today. Um, those aren't fun, but when you have somebody there that is, you know, with you, it makes it that much easier. It'd be hard to say that we could get any closer than we are now, but, you know, every time we, we go in the woods, those memories are, are created. And, you know, we sit here, you can sit on the tailgate and reminisce about things that happened five years ago, eight years ago, 10 years ago, who can you do that with? You don't get that opportunity, you know, you don't have those memories with that many people. <laughs> you get hugs now? The primary reason I go is, is to, you know, to get away from everything 
Um, and to be in that moment, it's really special to be 100% completely present and committed. And it probably talks a lot about the flushing dogs. You know, you're not listening to a beeper or bell in the distance waiting for it to stop. You're 100% focused on what's going on in front of you the entire time. And I, you know, I crave that in my life that's really busy with work and family. Right here, come on. I tend to quit earlier when I have a couple birds in the box than when I have none. And it's just, how do I figure this out? You know, the grouse hunt's over the millisecond you pull the trigger and the bird falls out of the sky. All the scouting, all the preparation, all the practice, training, breeding of dogs, uh, you know, sporting clays all summer, it's over, the hunt's over. The real hunt, the real passion starts in the pursuit. Everything up until that minute you pull the trigger. When you pull the trigger, that hunt's over. At least that bird's over. That's not what drives me. What drives me is to that moment, how to figure out how to make that moment happen. I think flushers are extremely effective in the right hands. And I think that Flushers are the best way for me to hunt rough grouse. That doesn't mean that the shoe's gonna fit for everybody. The fact is, is that every dog, when you let them out of the truck, gives it their all, you know? Every dog goes and does more than of what we would, you would think of asking of them. Grouse Commander is an opportunity for us to a, share our successes and share what we do and how we do it, but B, is an opportunity to get more people involved. Without a user, we have no need for a resource, so we need more grouse hunters, and if there's anything we can do to help promote the sport, to get more grouse hunters to make sure that we can maintain habitat and that we have grouse for years to come. What really drives me to grouse hunt is I can't ever figure them out. I, they're impossible to master. You know, to be able to, to, every time you think you got it figured out, they switch it on you. You know, why are they in one cover that looks like this and you go to another cover that looks exactly like it and they're not in the second one? That kind of engagement and that puzzle, that science is really fascinating to me and really what I love about it. They're sad two second time frame from the time your ear hears the bird flush to the time you pull the trigger. There's nothing like that in life. You know, if you aren't 100% dedicated and focused to the task at hand, and that is all that is on your mind, you will never be successful. That is something that keeps you coming back and wanting more because, you know, what is life if you don't have to work at it?